This is the most bizarre air crash in history. A plane of China Southern Airlines crashed in Yangshua, Guangxi, crashed into a mountain. The plane crashed into a mountain, killing all 141 people on board. But what puzzled everyone was the 50 ton Boeing 737. But only two tons of wreckage was found, the other 48 tons were missing, and of all the people who died on board, not a single intact object was found. This is strikingly similar to the Eastern Airlines disaster a year ago there are striking similarities, it was also a Boeing 737. The same vertical dive, the same failure to find the victims even the same in the territory of Guangxi. All kinds of associations have to make people speculate, this land seems to be under some kind of curse. The reason why this accident is shocking, not only because of the number of victims, but because the cause of the accident is so strange. There is a lot of confusion in confusion.so what happened in this crash, next, we will reveal the circumstances of the crash, November 24, 1992, Southern Airlines Flight 9343 was waiting to take off from Guangzhou Baiyun Airport, the direct flight route was from Guangzhou to Guilin. Guangxi, the actual passenger traffic of Guilin Kaifengling Airport is only 1% of the national airport. But the number of deaths in air crashes is 264, one-fifth of the total number of air crashes. The aircraft used for the direct flight was a Boeing 737 for 165 hours of flight time, three 153 landings and takeoffs on board Flight 9343 that day. There were 133 passengers and eight crew members on board, the captain was 27-year-old Jinan Zhou, a native of Chaozhou, he started flying when he was 19. He is a veteran pilot. He started working at Baiyun Airport in 1982, has 6,000 hours of flight experience to date. The co pilot is 42 year old Wang Wan, also underpowered. Total flight time 1,117 hours. There were a few cumulus clouds on the route from Guangzhou to Guilin that day. But it did not affect the normal flight. At 7 17 a M. The plane took off successfully on the runway of Baiyun Airport, but during the takeoff, the throttle valve of the plane had a slow response throttle valve. It is the valve that controls the air intake pressure and fuel volume of the aircraft. We can understand that the aircraft's throttle, but the captain Zhou Jinan was not in danger with his experience, he quickly solved the problem, then the plane climbed to an altitude of 7 kilometers and successfully turned on the automatic cruise, no more similar problems occurred, flight 7 419343 arrived over Gillen, the captain told Gillen Kaifengling, the tower reported his altitude, and reported that the plane would arrive at Gillen Kaifengling airport at around 7 55, arrived at Gillen Kaifengling airport, everything seems to be very normal, there was nothing wrong with it, but what the crew didn't know was that this was the beginning of the nightmare. After the crew contacted the tower in less than a minute, the plane lost contact with the tower completely, Gilan Kaifengling Airport immediately felt that things were not good, Gilan's, Guangzhou's air traffic control tried to contact Flight 9343. But never got a reply from 9343, what they didn't know was, at this moment, the plane was going through a frightening moment at 7.50, when the plane started to descend to 2,200 meters in level flight due to the automatic throttle on the right side of the aircraft. Still had the problem of not being able to follow, causing the aircraft to change from a descending to a level flying attitude. The right engine was still in the slow position, of course, the thrust output is less than the left side. So in order to make the aircraft get a balanced thrust, the captain increased the thrust of the left auto throttle as the difference between the left and right thrust gradually increased, the aircraft started to deflect to the right when the aircraft detected this situation. The aircraft's autopilot adjusted the angle of the wings to restore the aircraft's balance of flight, the left ventral wing was adjusted up to 5 degrees and the right wing down to 3.5 degrees. Even with this adjustment, the aircraft still could not maintain level flight and continued to drift to the right. At this point, the aircraft was already tilted to the right at 46 degrees. The crew saw that the autopilot could not keep the plane level. So the autopilot was disconnected, however, the crew made a fatal mistake at this point. Instead of adjusting the aircraft to the left, instead, they continued to steer the plane to the right. 
The aircraft accelerated to the right and tilted 168 degrees, directly overturned and had a tendency to dive. Seeing this situation, the crew hurriedly pulled back the steering wheel, preparing to pull the plane back from the diving attitude, however. This increased the speed of the plane's dive. At this point the airspeed had reached more than 300 knots, in the end, the plane crashed in such a position the plane crashed 32 kilometers away from Kaifengling Airport 32 kilometers away from the airport in Tianma Mountain, Yangshua County, the plane disintegrated and exploded. 133 passengers and 8 crew members of the airport were killed, disintegration the wreckage of the plane after the explosion or the bodies of the victims none of them are intact the cause of the accident during the descent of the aircraft the right engine throttle cannot follow. Resulting in inconsistent thrust between the left and right engines, the crew did not notice when the plane started to roll right but after the tilt reached 46 degrees. Before realizing the problem of the aircraft and then the crew made a mistake, the tilt of the aircraft became more and more serious. When the plane rolled to 168 degrees, the crew pulled the stick hard, causing the plane to dive and crash into the ground. Although the process of the accident was known but after the aircraft suffered a malfunction. The behavior of all kinds of bizarre operations, but there is no reasonable explanation but whether it is a natural or man-made disaster, the disaster brings people not only grief, there is also a warning bell is to learn. Lessons learned from experience to avoid is to repeat the crime.